Day three, Ontario, 2014. Uh, my last day of the hunt. Bill was actually up there for 10 days, uh, but I was only up for the first three to do some filming. Um, and even though I filmed most of the time, each one of the days, I actually killed the last bird of the limit uh, while filming myself. So it was pretty cool. Um, but this time, we I got permission from a farmer again uh, in a cut cornfield that Bill and I saw a lot of birds pouring into. And pretty much the same deal. It got set up and the birds worked pretty well. So messing around with some of our different GoPro angles and figuring out the camera and things like that. Um, but all in all, another great hunt, another great limit. And uh, I was it was really hesitant to get out of there. I wish I could have made it another couple days, but it is what it is. Bill continued on, but for, for the first group in there, this was the last day of the hunt and another limit. So successful hunt. <laughs> Kill the pair. Get ready, boys. Take them. Shoot, boys. Oh, God. Oh. What? Yeah. Wow. What? Look at that one on the ground. What? Hey, Bill. Here come. <laughs> Kill him, boys. Kill him. See it? Yeah. yeah the, There's one alive out in front. You can see his head up walking. T. Really? Dude, run and grab him. He'll lay down. Got him, boy. Got him, boy. Get down, bird. Mayday. Get down. Take a gun when you go out there because that bird's alive. And don't shoot the house. There he goes. You got him, Dick? Yeah, I'll get him. I'll make sure nobody else.
five right in front of us. That was when you looked up and wrote in your notebook last night. First time too. Come on, man! You bruised his breast. I'm, I'm, that's why they call me breast bruiser. <laughs> Can you reach him, Chris? Damn! I didn't get that in. Skyscraper, baby. Very good. Can I reach him? Yeah, we've been sitting here waiting. Watching our customers interact with each other, with us, uh, with farmers, uh, with geese, we have decided that we're going to next year teach an advanced goose handling course so that people, say for example, not mentioning any names T. Fallon, uh, will know what to do when a goose is standing there hissing at you. Uh, we also had several instances where geese that were supposedly dead magically came back to life and would start walking by everybody in the blind and right out the door. So I'm not exactly sure how and or why, but obviously some advanced teaching is necessary and uh, we're going to include that as part of the, uh, the experience next year. Well, I'm going to do the talking because I can't hear out of one ear right now. But uh, let's just say we had a... Uh, Slammer of a hunt. Uh, day three, we limited out again. Earliest day, we were done around nine o'clock. So three days, 75 birds. Uh, can't ask for much more than that. Weather's turned a little colder. And I uh, want to thank everybody for coming on up. We had a great time. Looking forward to doing it again next year. And uh, stay tuned for more action uh, days four through whatever, nine. So we'll talk to you then. And that's a wrap. Group one, day three is done in the books. Overall, a successful hunt for group one. Three days, three limits, 75 birds on the ground. Um, what I'm actually gonna bring you next is group three's uh, film hunt. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of footage there. They had one day of bad weather. They got some footage for day two, and then day three was the last of 10 days for Bill, so all the equipment was packed away and there wasn't uh, any filming for day three, but they had a successful hunt as well. We got some decent footage uh, on day two, so I'm gonna bring you that in the middle of group one and group two, so uh, on to group three, check it out. Okay, here we are, group three, day one, hunting a new farm. Got the old pasture grass here, over here, we have the fresh cut cornfield. A lot of birds in here yesterday. There's the main farm. River back behind us. It's starting to rain, so I'm too lazy to break out the camera, the big camera. And look who we have here, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the greater Chicago area. Holy God, look at that face. The Polish Flash. The Polish Flash, Tony Gilski. Killer Kowalski. Not really sure who that, oh, there we go. We think that's uh, Garrett Taylor. Garrett, after a five year hiatus, welcome back. <laughs> I'm gonna do a cameo down here. David Pot from Bemis, Kenny Bell from Berry Plastics, and Forrest, the not so wonder, early young puppy, but still, still ready to go. 
Honey's down in the other end, and then our very own Bob Metzer. Take it away, Bob. Bob, squat down, say hello to the folks at home here. There he is. So, six guys loaded up, ready to go. And all we need now are some geese. So, stay tuned. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Day one, group three, the results are the same. There's uh, 30 birds in there. It took us a little while, but it uh, took us a few misses to get that last bird or two, but here we are. So uh, good job, guys, and looks like we will be doing it again tomorrow. So I know, Tony, you mentioned how thirsty you were, so there's a cold beer waiting somewhere. There you go. All right. All right, let's get cleaning. This field. So here we have... What's up, yo? War Daddy. That's me. Uncle next, next, I'm sitting next to Granddaddy. I'm the War Horse. Hey, we hey, just call hey, him hey, War Daddy. Uncle sitting Tony. next to Granddaddy. Yeah. Okay. Elwin, where are you? We got to get you on camera for our for our DVD. Yeah, it's got to come up to the, 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 the folks at home. We're gonna love. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, our illustrious chef for the week, Elwin Massia. Elwin. Yeah. As a native Canadian, how do you feel about Americans coming up and killing all your natural resources? <laughs> Take them all. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's been a, a great addition to the team this year. He's cooked up some fabulous meals for us. And uh, just want to say thanks so much. You made my life a heck of a lot easier. And looking forward to doing it again next year. I'm glad you could join us for, uh, for a morning here for a few hours. Hopefully you get some birds down. Yeah, it sounds looks awesome. So here's David Pott, native Wisconsin Wisconsinite. Wisconsinite. And where's Kenny? Kenny's here. There's Kenny Bell. So can't fly, you can't see him. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's Sergeant Gilski? There he is. Look at him. Good morning. Sneaky. Hey, where's your camo hat? Sneaky Tony, Donnie. I gave, oh, nice. I gave it to Garrett. Nice. And here he is, today's designated cameraman. Dun, da, da, da. Look at see, him. I hope I can hit the record button. I, I hope so too. Yeah. Bob Metzer. <laughs> with Good morning to all. Honey. Honey's ready. She's ready. So we have a southwest wind, about six to eight miles an hour, and we are ready to go. So stay tuned for more action from whatever goose field, County Road 2, Concession Road 2. All right. <laughs> Slaughter of the day. How do we get five or six? Straight in! There's one, two. Watch the one on the right, boys. Everybody load it up. We'll, we'll swing left on it. Yeah. One. Yeah, there's like six or seven on oh, it now. Yeah. yeah. Can we kill him? Yeah. Watch, watch. Shoot him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you freaking? And boys, I got that on video. I'm afraid to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> 